Okay, well, um, how are you guys doing today? Um, hope you're doing well. Just wanted to do another video here to um, get you guys up to date with um, what's been going on with my 164 diecast workshop. Um, it's been a uh, it's been an interesting few days. I got my shipment from Plan B Sales of 26 cars, and included in there was um, uh, I did order a few. 2018 Mustangs. So, um, Mr. MR, I have started your uh, number 61 Casgrala Nets car. Um, I got them yesterday afternoon. Um, uh, almost, I won't say immediately, but I, I very quickly opened up 2018 Mustang. It's a, um, uh, what is this? I'm trying to think who, who it is. If it's an Austin Cindric or. Roush Fenway, um, number 60. Actually, I don't even remember who, who the driver of that thing was. Um, but, um, but anyways, um, I've got it primed, and I'm getting ready to put a, a, a coat of... Um, I'm going to use the um, high-performance gloss white on that and, um, and, and, and get that moving forward. Try to get that uh, Cosgrala done because that was... Um, that's the fourth of the four cars you wanted and um, I know you've been waiting a while and I want to get that done and um, and get that into your hands all four of them so um, working that I've also moved uh, this uh, let me adjust the camera a little bit um, move this minions forward I've got uh, this all painted uh, basically with the um, High performance white, and it's coming out pretty good. Um, I may have said this before, but I went ahead and and got a new nozzle, and um, and put it on the high performance paint from a different paint can, and it's coming out pretty nice. Um, so um, that may be the the ticket for that paint is to get that uh, get a new nozzle on it to spray it, and try that, um, just to get a good a good spray, and it, it seems to turn out pretty nice. Uh, this is using the high performance yellow uh, for this 2019 uh, Ryan Blaney <clears throat> uh, Menards Duracell Optimum Playoff car. So I've got that started. Uh, and uh, I will soon, I, since I got some additional Mustangs, I actually have, um, have one back here. Um, I got a couple Keslowski with those with those yellow tires for the um, uh, for the Dickies car you can see this is you know this is the fluorescent yellow uh, when you compare it to the regular yellow it's a little bit different or maybe it's a lot different but um, I like to try to get the tires you know and the rims to match with what was driven on the track as best as I can sometimes it's not possible um, but I try to do that you know same with the Darlington white lettering that occurs on on a lot of the um, the Darlington cars they have the Goodyear in white lettering so I try to I try to use that though sometimes I don't have them and I don't have the white Goodyear stickers to put on the the tires which I don't think would turn out very well even if I did have them but yeah so that's that car um, Mr. MB I got your uh, crest one going I decided for the crest I was looking at some of the pictures the 2015 Larson I guess he won homestead in this uh, car in Xfinity series it's I've seen different pictures of it it's not the brilliant blue for sure it's either a very dark blue which I could use the navy I think that's actually too dark so I went ahead and and used the deep blue um, for this particular car and I, I think I think that's probably the gonna end up being I don't think it's a perfect match but I think it's gonna be the best looking of the um, of the cars and I say that because sometimes on Pato's decal sheets you can look and see some of the colors that like so I got the dark blue background removed but you can see what's remaining so he didn't remove the, the spoiler colors and I think that blue there better matches this 
than it would the the dark navy blue because the dark navy blue is just super dark it's like a midnight very very dark blue so um so anyways i went ahead and used the deep blue for that and um got that got that painted actually i just painted it um you know this morning earlier this morning so this is both drying moving this thing forward this uh, kenny wallace car um kind of as i have time um started decaling it and and as i've said before on those kenny wallace furniture row cars the decals are you know they're kind of a pain and um and i i had to do some additional orange painting and so that's um that's sitting there the game stop is pretty much ready to go i'm gonna um put the uh um, put the windshield and the and the dash in and i just painted this i painted the underside red and then i went ahead and just put the the final coat of red on that um Juan Pablo Montoya 2009 COT Chevy and uh, so so what the way I typically do that is um, I paint this just like I'd paint the 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 other you know die cast but the hood itself I um, I set it down on a on a piece of wood and actually let the tip of the hood hang over the side so that uh, when I paint it it won't stick at least the front won't stick to the to the um, to the surface that I'm painting it on because there's really no way to kind of suspend the hood. Um, it's it's kind of difficult to do that. So anyways, I'm, it's it's over there and it's drying. I'll, I'll let it dry and and then bring it over here once it's uh, once it's mostly dry. So so yeah, um, I've I've also decided to do a couple things. I've got some cars over here. These are uh, 2018. I think yeah these are the 2018 cars uh, a couple Ryan Newman um, cup 2018 Camaros and if you remember I made some of these you know a couple of these white ones actually I think I made four of them of the uh, um, of the 2019 20 I think 2018 2019 and 2020 Chevy uh, Camaros that are for cup cars and I had I had incorrectly went ahead and, and made them all up uh, thinking I was going to use them for the Xfinity cars that I needed to make and that and that you know that fell apart so I have these cars over here if you remember I made a monster Kurt Busch car and also you know special car and then I made a um, a white uh, I think it was a, a McDonald's or a McDelivery Ken Seth car uh, just kind of like a one-off but I was looking through all the decals that I have, and I don't have any that are for 2018, 2019, or 2020 Chevys that are white. So I was looking through some special paint schemes, and, and I, I put Darlington rims on these. And I was looking at the 2018 Darlington race, and I've decided to go ahead and buy uh, Pato's decals of Chris Busher's Darling 2018 Darlington car and it's um it's basically all white and he's got the number 37 in blue and he's got um the um uh, Bush's baked beans um design on a kind of an uh, you know a throwback scheme and I thought that was pretty cool and uh, decided to go ahead and I'm going to buy those decals and I'm going to I'm going to I've already got two cars ready to go so in my spare time I'll make those um, just to use up these cars that I've got already done. And then I was looking at these Newman ones that I have, and my thought was to get another Newman car, uh, to go ahead and, and get a, a Newman RCR car. And so I was looking at all of his 2018 paint schemes and see which ones are, you know, obviously that Lionel didn't release, and figure out which one that... Um, uh, that I think would be pretty cool for collectors to have and I've decided to go ahead and and do the um, <clears throat> the paint scheme that he drove at uh, Talladega that year in October with the breast cancer awareness car it's a Liberty I think it's Liberty National and it's kind of gray and then it's got pink it's got a pink um, <clears throat> uh, whatchamacallit it's got a pink um, hood here it's I think pink up here maybe pink on the back 
and then it's gray and it's got pink and I think the numbers are green I can't remember but I thought that was pretty cool uh, breast cancer awareness and so those will uh, those will be a, the set of decals that I'm gonna buy um, and um, you know so so the decals that I and the cars that I normally make are either cars that I want for my collection my Ken Seth collection or their cars that I get as a special request uh, from you know people that you know want to want to want a car made very rarely do I actually go out and buy decals for cars that um, um, I don't really I don't really have any interest in collecting I just buy uh, that I think would be interesting kind of like kind of like the Trump 2020 car I'm I'm not keeping any of those actually it's funny my parents asked for a, for a 2020 car um, but I I I very rarely do I buy paint schemes that are um, uh, ones that I don't collect or, or that haven't been requested of me. Um, <clears throat> so one other thing I wanted to show you guys, um, and it's over here. In my Plan B um, purchase, I bought 26 cars, and I, that's kind of actually a lie. I bought 25 cars and I bought one truck so let me open it up here they had their um, GMS racing plan B sales number 24 and this is Brett Moffat right uh, trucks and this was five dollars and twenty five cents so I went ahead and bought one I've never done trucks before and I um I said hey you know just throw one in just to see just to see what it looks like just to see how difficult or how easy it would be to make um to make a custom truck and so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up here and uh, and we will see what it looks like together for the first time at least for me um, I've already noticed that this is different. So it's it's close, but it is it is still slightly different the bottom. Um, so I'm not really sure what I'm going to do on this front. So this has got some kind of you know serial number of sorts here. So I don't know if I want to paint over that. Um, but yeah, it'll be it'll be a little bit different how I want to uh, to paint this. Um, on the bottom. I mean, it'll be it'll be similar, but it'll be a little bit different because this is just a it's a different stamp, a different design uh, on this uh, on this particular car. And also, I don't really know how these little supports on the back here are going to come off. Um, so we'll just open it up and we'll see uh, from the underneath. Um, I may need to you know just pop these off. Um, or you know I don't know what I don't know what's holding them in place underneath so uh, there may be um, uh, maybe something that I can take off underneath that will just easily take these off and then I can put them back on oh this says Barry Powell and this says PFC Tate William Spur okay but the box says Brett Moffat so I don't know um, yeah the back says Moffat so it must be a Moffat car but I've already decided the first truck I'm going to make, and um, and it's going to be the number 83 Trump 2020 truck. So I'm going to probably buy a couple more, and I'm going to order those decals from Pato, and I'll make a couple uh, Trump 2020 trucks um, because I think this uh, I think with this election. And just with Trump's um, following in NASCAR, a lot of you know, a lot of NASCAR people follow Trump. And with this election, I don't want to say fraud. I mean that that's that's being thrown around a lot. I mean, with this 2020 election, I mean it's going to go down in history. I mean, I was telling my daughter last night about this. She's like, "Are you guys? You know, are they still watching the news? You know, are they still talking about this election?" And I said, "They're going to be talking about this election." for decades and um you know whether biden really won the election with valid legal votes or 
if Trump is going to, you know, through the court system and using the state legislators is going to get certain ballots thrown out because either they don't have signatures or they weren't, um, uh, you know, allowed to have both a Democrat and a Republican poll watcher looking at all the ballots. I don't know. But anyways, um, I think uh, the Trump 2020 cars and if I can do a truck, I think it'd be kind of cool. Um, so, uh, obviously Lionel's not going to make it. Um, so anyways, I am going to order the number 83 Trump 2020, uh, cars or truck. I think it was Tim Vierns or something like that. I don't, I don't, I don't typically watch the truck series. So, um, so I'm not really sure what, um, what the guy's name is, but yeah. Um, so look for that in the, uh, in the coming months. Um, so let's go ahead and take this apart. And uh, we'll see what we'll see what this looks like together um, for the first time. If you've never opened up a truck before, um, yeah. So, all right, I'm gonna try to do this here. Sorry about the drill noise. If you want to get ready, I know it's kind of annoying when you're when you're watching a video and you have this drill noise right next to the camera. It's kind of loud and annoying. But, um, anyways. Um, Gonna, gonna t ooh, that's kind of a small, small opening there from the, my drill bit. So we'll try this one first. loose but nope hmm. not doing a very good job I can see I'm kind of off center a little bit see if I can get that sometimes I'll take this got this little angled pair of scissors that's really I think for eyebrows but I got it for my mom um, sometimes I'll take this and kind of pop it try to, yeah pop it like that if I'm close so okay Yeah, these, these um, first thing, it looks like these holes are a little bit smaller than the, um, than, the, than the cars. So my drill chews up, the, chews up the underneath a little bit more, makes a little bit bigger hole than what's already there. And I can tell I'm going to do it here. So it is what it is. Let's see, I'm not, I'm not getting a new drill or a smaller drill bit right now. If I do a lot of these, and we'll, we'll just see. We'll just see what this looks like, see what happens here. Just hate to go too far. <sighs> ah. 
sometimes I've done this before where you do this and if you use the if you use the tire um, thing you can bend the tire and I don't want to do that there's really no other way I can wedge in here so I'll just keep drilling I guess There we go. All right, let's see what this looks like. Okay. Let's look at this first. This is interesting. So it's just, is this just sitting on here? Yeah. Wow, this is just sitting on these, it's just sitting on these two little posts. <laughs> That's interesting. So I'm looking here, let's open this up a little bit. So it just has a seat. There's nothing behind the seat. And it's got two two black lines. I guess I'll paint those red. Shifter looks like a normal car shifter and the seat looks like a normal seat. Yeah, there's nothing else there. Interesting. Okay. These look like the same the same tires, the same rims as a, as a car. I'll have to look a little closer there and see if there's any difference. Um, yeah, so it just sits on those two posts. Sits on these two posts. These two posts pop through and, and the base sits on this. Interesting. And this Shoot up a little bit. I don't know. I'm not too concerned. If, if I'm careful, I don't need to change out. I was thinking I'd go to a smaller drill bit for the trucks, but um, but I don't think I need to. I think it, it'll be fine. I'm not chewing as long as I'm careful. It's not going to chew it up too much. Chevy Silverado. Very interesting. Okay, let's look at this. Let's look at this thing. <sighs> okay, so it's got the standard dash to drill out, and then it's got... Okay, so it's got these pieces in the back windshield. Okay, so it's got one rivet, one rivet. Alright, so let's drill out this rivet and see what we got here. Lighting's not very good here. I need to get, I don't know, maybe I'll get a different light. And, I don't know, because it kind of comes at an angle here. And if I'm turning this way, you can't see what I'm doing. I have to kind of turn it like this. looks very thin. The plastic looks very thin on this. I gotta be real careful not to not to drill through the plastic too much. You can hear it kind of snapping. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this this feels much flimsier. That's kind of cool. I don't know if you can see that too well, but 
Uh, there's there's some significant design on the gauges here of the uh, of the dash here. There's nothing on the top. It's just flat, completely flat. It's very thin. But I like the I like the design of the gauges. I don't know. Maybe I'll get like my silver, and I'll kind of just paint the high the the raised surfaces there. I don't know. Steering wheel feels feels secure. Yeah. I don't like that there's nothing on the top, but the gauges is cool. It'd be nice if there was a little bit of a a benefit, you know, something on the top as well as the gauges. That would be cool, but you know, looks like they both have some strengths and weaknesses for across the cars and the and the trucks. So there's one rivet they are holding that in. So let's drill that out. Let's see what happens. Sometimes if you if the metal's real thin, you, you'll drill. You'll I don't say you'll push through, but you'll kind of pump it pump it up a little bit and, and give like a little raised area if you push too hard and drill too far. So you gotta be careful with that. <laughs> okay, how does this pop up? Okay, just on this side. All right. Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> hmm. So that's kind of cool. It's already got the, um, you know, I didn't notice this before, but it's already got the, the black lines around the exterior or ex, you know, the outside of this and a couple lines in the middle. Gander outdoors. I can do black lines around here. Around the bot, the back. Cool. That's pretty cool. I like that. Now, what about these pieces back here? So, if I just wiggle them, looks like they had the plastic come through. It's kind of gummy. Maybe this is like a glue. Yeah. Let me see some. Kind of running out of time here, but um, I think this is just like a little, like there's just a little bit of glue holding this on. And I just need to kind of scrape the glue off and kind of push it through to pull them up. Yeah, so this just kind of pulls up, kind of wiggle it a little bit. Trying to get this to release, like that. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I'll take the other one off and we'll dip it. So thanks for watching guys, um, might be doing some more trucks here in the future. Take care. God bless.